My name is Blair Volansky. We're at Wachan Cattle Company. Uh, my brother and I bought bought the ranch in in 1996, and currently my wife and I run the run the operation, and it's turned out to be very successful. Well, our ranch is is 600 acres, uh, probably two 300 acres in hay. Uh, we raise about 125 cows. You know, we breed the, breed the bulls to the cows, get calves, sell the calves in the fall. Um, we're located in the Arrow Lakes Valley, beautiful valley. Um, it's kind of out of the way a little bit, but you know, it's nice, it's beautiful here. I've been involved with horses the better part of my life. I've always been an active rider, competitive trail rider. And when I was 16, I went to an Andalusian show and they became the breed for me. My name is Anne Balansky. I'm the founder of Arrow Valley Farm and I'm the Andalusian side. I've been raising Andalusians for 28 years. I bought my first mare from Colorado from Banbury Cross Farm and as they say, the rest is history. I have a fairly solid breeding program. Um, I run a closed herd. I have, uh, I breed outside mares, but when you come here to look at a horse, you can see mother, father, brother, sister, sometimes cousin, because uh, I have them in every shape, size, color, and until they are sold, they're here with us. They run on 200 acres through Hill and Dale. They're raised naturally, normally, they don't have mental problems. They don't have uh, any psychological problems because they, they run like a, a herd of horses should, and they truly do run in a herd. So. My trainer, Kira Londos, from uh, Agora Horse Training, is establishing her career, practicing on mine, and she's doing a bang-up job. Um, they like to greet her at the fence. They're happy to come in and work, and. Um, I think it's all working well. They're very quiet, they're gentle, they're easy to catch. So, yeah, they are broken. It's a broad, broad term now, but we do use natural horsemanship. We don't have Bronx, we don't have rodeos, we just have quiet, kind horses that want to come in every morning and be handled. And they wait their turn at the gate. That's what they do. I'm Kira. These are some of the horses that I've been training here at Arrow Valley. Uh, this is Mojito. He is a four-year-old purebred Andalusian. And this is Punk Rocker. He's a two-year-old quarter horse. Um, all these guys in here are ones that I've trained or worked with since I've been here. I love working here. There's a lot of different reasons why. Um, I've traveled to different places all over the world and a lot of those places have attracted me back again and again for for various reasons whether it's the landscape or the people or maybe it's the horses this place in particular the reason it's captured me is out of all the places i've been to this is the one that that captures all those different aspects um, so that's that's the main reason that i'm here the horses they're incredible all their own. They grow up in such a balanced lifestyle, so they're very, very easy to work with. It's Anne's been here breeding them for over 25 years, so it's not just her selecting the best stallion and the best mare and combining those things together. It's also how they've grown up, so they've grown up in a herd environment. Um, and we change them up every once in a while, so usually the babies grow up with the babies and then once they get older, we'll move them and mix them in with the older guys. And because of that, when they're two years old and I bring them in to work with them for the first time, they're not, they don't have any separation anxiety, they don't have any vices. Um, and for the most part, they'll, they'll come running when they see any person coming into the paddock. and. If you work with them, they'll stay with you until they see you walk away. They'll always tell us if we're doing a good job and 
It starts with them having such a balanced lifestyle that everything else is so easy. This is our Cordor Stallion, Texas Stray. We bought him in 2007 to breed to our own Cordor Smares. Uh, we want to breed some bigger Cordor horses for, for our working cattle ranch. Um, you know, typically now they're breeding the Cordor horses, they're smaller and, you know, they're the, the cutter types. But we wanted a good boned Cordor horse to, to breed our own mares. Currently we have 10 10 offspring of Texas from our own mares. Uh, we're, we're having them trained right now by Kira Londos, which does an excellent job. Okay, we started breeding quarter horses in uh, 1995, so that's why we bought uh, Texas. And Texas is one of the very few sons left from Pepe's and Badger. Hi, I'm Irene Walker, and this is my trusty Mount Visto. Um, I bought him from Ann and Blair uh, just over a year ago. Um, real steady horse. Yeah, hi, I, I'm Ross. Uh, we're from Merritt. It's our second year here. We came last year and bought a horse off Ann and Blair. And it was so much fun last year. We're uh, back again. Maybe we'll be here every year to buy some. So I'm here in Canada on the woofing program, which basically means that you go stay at a farm and help out. It's a great atmosphere here, I think, because everyone is, is always working and working together towards one goal. Yeah, so great atmosphere, great food as well, lots of beef, lots of uh, vegetables, so you won't go hungry at the Arrow Valley Ranch for sure. I have horses from coast to coast and even in this tight market I'm still managing to market my horses and I have lots of repeat customers and people that think I have such good horses but really it's the breed. The breed sells itself. So Their honesty and their integrity. Their uh, do anything for you kind of horse. Really. Um, a good, good horse. I won uh, several national champion or Canadian national championship titles with movement and with a confirmation. I've won some saddle classes with me not riding, but um, my stallion had an accident, so we had to take him out of out of his schooling. So he just lives here and grooves with his mares. I plan to extend the black breeding program for over the gray program. I have some coming up that I plan to promote heavily in the next couple of years. I don't plan on selling them right away. So, just to keep my breed out there and the brand out there. Yeah, my name's Jerry and uh, we try to come here every year if we can. Uh, you know, it's always a good party place, uh, good people. And uh, yeah, we try to come for the branding. So. Pretty fun time. So when my children left home, we had extra room downstairs, so we thought we might as well start a bed and breakfast because I have been known to cook the odd decent meal. So we progressed with that program. Um, this is a completely untouched valley. There is no industry on this valley. There's a dairy farm and a horse ranch, which is us and a cattle ranch. So it's a very pristine, beautiful valley. It has nice walks. Uh, we have eagles nesting here. We have blue herons nesting right on the ranch. We have a river walk. Uh, there's no cell phone service. We do have internet service, but uh, everybody that comes here just likes the quiet, the tranquility, the peace. So that's what we promote, organic food and peace and quiet. Um, we recently had a photographer here, and he's taken uh, a ton of pictures of wildlife, bear, we've had elk in here, um, we have resident deer, resident bald eagles, resident blue herons. So he's done some beautiful time lapses at night, and uh, it's a nice place to come. It's a piece of paradise. <laughs>